Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to install a multi-man file browser over on your PS3. So what you guys want to do is make sure you get your PS3's USB, go and connect that to your computer, and then I will show you guys what to do next. So I will leave a link to Multiman in the description of this video. Now Multiman hasn't actually been updated in quite a while. The last version that was released was actually in 2018 and this is the one we're going to use. So all you want to do is just click on the blue download button right here and that will begin downloading. So once we have actually finished downloading Multiman, what we can do is go to our downloads folder and just find the package file in here. Now it's very simple, make sure your PS3's USB is plugged into your computer and we can simply just drag and drop this across. I've already got one, I'm just going to to replace it and that is literally it now we have got the multi-man package on our usb what we can do once it's finished copying we can go and plug our usb back into our playstation let's go and install it and i will show you guys what to do from there make sure you plug your usb back in to the top pot let's scroll down and let's go on to the package manager from here we need to go to install package files and press on x scroll down to standard and press x on this we then need to find our multi-man package file so here is mine we are going to press x on it and then we're going to just wait for it to install it should just take a couple of seconds now once Multiman is installed, what we can do is press circle to go back to um, the home screen and in here we can find it. So it's very simple, all we have to do is just go ahead and press X just to launch it up. Now what you have to do is accept all of these agreements. So scroll onto yes and just press X, there is actually four of them. You can go ahead and read them if you want to, but basically just accept all of them and then it will start installing the Multiman data onto your hard drive. And then it should just boot into Multiman fairly quickly. So here you go, it's just booting up and this is pretty much what it looks like. It just looks like the PS3 home screen, but a bit different. Obviously we can browse all of the PS3 files here and um, we've got loads of different settings and stuff you can enable. You can just go for it, there's so much stuff on here. I will probably be making some more videos using this, like how to play games off your USB, how to play PS2 games, um, all of that sort of thing. But basically, if you want to access the um, kind of like managed files, like the file browser, go over to the like kind of like home bit, go over to file manager and just press X. And now you can use your analog stick just to control it. So you can go onto the PS3 route and you can browse your files. Be very careful, don't delete anything. Um, if you're wondering what the main hard drive is, it's dev hard drive zero and then dev USB will be your top USB so we can browse the files on this as well and um, yeah that is pretty much it that is the multi-mount file browser you can actually press L1 and R1 at the same time and um, you can change stuff so as you can see um, you know we can browse through all of the different things and um, yeah there's pretty um, quite a lot of things you can browse through you can pretty much just change the format um, this one right here this one's my main one so if you just press left and right um, you can scroll through and have a look at all of the themes we have got and um, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. If you want to quit, um, you can literally just press the home button and then just um, actually just quit out of Multiman. But yeah, that is pretty much it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.